Bro, it's over. You're done. You're done. Wait. What the? Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Poblano here. We talk gaming, comics, and more. If you found this video helpful, you had a good time, please hit the like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel so you get more content like this. So this is another Black Myth Wukong gameplay video or guide. So in this video, I'm going to help you beat the white clad noble. Uh, he's actually one of the more challenging ones. He has projectiles. And he has a second damage phase, everybody loves those, but for me anyway, my experience, it's easier the first damage phase, the first damage phase is harder, the second damage phase is easier, so he has like a lot of dash attacks and projectiles, so what you want to do is wait for him to attack, dodge to get parry it and open him up, but he also has a, a projectile or a tech where he throws a spear, so you just want to dodge that, wait for him to finish his animation, then go in and attack. So this one's a little bit tricky because he moves a lot. He's very fast and he does a lot of damage. So, but he telegraphs a lot, so you'll know when he's about to attack. So when you see him attack, just dodge or try to parry and then just go in. What I like to do is I like to use the... Uh, well, my mic is all the way over there. I like to use the uh, light attack to charge up my he heavy attack and then use my heavy attack like that. But yeah, so I actually got him, which I am surprised. Uh, <laughs> I was really surprised when I landed it. So this is when he does his second phase. As you can see by the color of his skin, well, not the color of his skin, but the texture of his skin. He's going to turn into a big old snake. Yes, that's right. Because, you know, and he gets his whole health back, which is excellent, right? We love that. So, right now, I'm going to try my best to get as much damage on him. So, he just slithers around a lot. His attacks aren't that... For, in my opinion, they're not that hard to avoid. So, pretty much the same as before. He does a couple attacks. He's a little bit... For, in my opinion, weaker than his first phase, which is a relief. So, one thing you want to know, after you beat him, you're going to want to go to the left. And over the left is going to get you one of the three bells you have to ring to get access to a secret area, to get secret loot that I've been talking about in my past videos. So, without the way, I'm going to let the video play out. There's nothing more else I need to say. But, uh, yeah, the only one difference I would recommend is using the ugly baby spirit, which, if you see my other videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's the one with the baby with the big-ass head. He just slams his head and then gets out the way. So that's very helpful if you're trying to... You can actually chain that in your combo. Uh, that's one thing I would have done differently here. So I'm going to let the video play out. If you guys found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel so you get more like this. I'll be see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh. No ill will, I bear. I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed and fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing. You truly seek.